recording in progress. We have, yeah. I'm happy. The plow. Line man, uh, sang cow, line man, gam lang ma. Cha ching lai. Lao sang line man, meh? Mei, mei sang lai. Pawa lai, a plung, jim. Plung, jim, pass sang lai man. Okay, don't you la. I got on rum tum cooking as a hang in. Nah, okay, my blind and I got sang mala. I got on my song. Said the young, said, said the young, tell young, we said they have a lag on. ครับอ่ะมาครับคลาสนัมเบอร์ครับโอเค For a century people have wondered about the possibility of life on other planets in the universe <laughs> Do you believe extra extra territorial blah 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 แป๊บนึงนะครับเดี๋ยวไอ้ไลน์แมนมันมาเดี๋ยวพี่รับสายแป๊บนึง
Okay, ah, my help. Write an essay persuading others to share your point of view here. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, Over millions of years, many have doubted whether it is possible for existence of other planets inhabitants. Is that right? This essay will explain a wide perspective to what this. Mm. Sunday, and I have hit you. Mm. I think it's fine, right? In terms of introduction. Go uh, can perfect. Perfect about uh, claim we got a perfect. Now cap this is statement that I have. This is the many can count okay, and I have mm, Goku perfect you. That one, then so many have done with this possible phrase. Because it's been a question, take away you play and pen some wood now, pen hook. I need to recommend it, hook sentence, and I have hook sentence, and I need to wear long shy pen interrogative, and I have row up and question, good time again. Have you uh -huh, ever thought and I kept living thing or extraordinary mm -hmm. existing? can even live in the planet. Wondering how it can, you know, exist in the reality. So what they have. Mm. So what take away from this hopeless scenario? I'm not so sure. 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 ยังไม่ได้ถามไอเดียเลยอธิบายอธิบายนะครับ whatever whatever ลืมพูดตั้งนานเราลืมเปิดไม่ mute ใช่ไหมโอเคอ่าอันนี้ก็ก็เป็นเกี่ยวกับว่าอย่างแรกผมก็พูดถึงวัฒนธรรม culture หรือว่าพวกเอ่อ่ตาถาปัตยกรรมพวกนี้เช่นแบบการดีไซน์หรือว่าแบบ building หรือว่าอ่าสถานที่ต่างๆหรือว่าสิ่งก่อสร้างอะไรพวกนี้มันมันแปลกแล้วมันแบบมันมันดูเหมือนแบบเป็นไปไม่ได้ครับที่บอกว่ามันจะสร้างอะไรแบบได้ได้ได้โหดขนาดนั้นนะเพราะว่าคือมันไม่แมทช์กับความเป็นจริงมันไม่แมทช์กับกับกับแฟกต์ที่ว่าอ่าในสมัยนั้นมันเทคโนโลยีมันคือมันมันเช่นแบบอ่าสโตนเฮนส์อย่างเงี้ยแบบว่ามันเป็นหินแบบหินแบบร้อยร้อยอันแล้วมันก็เรียงกันแล้วมันก็แบบเป็นเป็นเป็นวงกลมครับแล้วก็ไปเออเออเป็นเป็นวงล้อมใช่ไหมแล้วก็ไอหินหินอันนึงก็คือแบบหนักเป็นตันตันนะครับแล้วเขาก็เขาก็มองว่ามันเป็นไปไม่ได้เพราะว่าคนสมัยนั้นแบบจะแบกหินกันแบบเป็นตันตันได้ครับก็เข้ามาวางครับมันเป็นโมเดลเมนต์มันเป็นเอ่อโมเดลเมนต์หนึ่งครับซึ่งซึ่งเขาไว้ทําพิธีกรรมเกี่ยวกับอะไรสักอย่างนี่แหละครับศาสนาพวกนี้ครับแล้วก็มันมันเป็นไปไม่ได้ครับที่มนุษย์สมัยนั้นจะแบกเข็มกันเป็นตันตันได้แล้วก็มันมีอายุประมาณห้าพันกว่าปีครับแล้วก็มันคงเป็นไปไม่ได้ที่จะมีเทคโนโลยีอะไรที่จะแบกเข็มอะไรขนาดนั้นครับที่จะช่วยแบบสร้างอะไรขนาดนั้น
ได้อะมันก็เลยคิดว่าน่าจะมีความก้าวหน้าหรือมี involvement ของเอ่ออะไรบางอย่างที่มันมาจากนอกโลกครับแบบอาจจะมีอิทธิพลของเทคโนโลยีของมนุษย์ต่างดาวอะไรแบบนี้ครับมาช่วยประมาณแล้วก็แล้วก็อย่างที่สองก็คืออาจจะเป็นเรื่องเกี่ยวกับเอ่อเกี่ยวกับการ hypothesis ครับหรือว่าเป็นจบด้วยฐานของนักชีววิทยาอะไรพวกนี้นะครับที่เกี่ยวกับว่าการที่สิ่งมีชีวิตที่มีมีสิ่งมีชีวิตบนโลกแล้วมันเกิดจากอ่าเชื้อแบคทีเรียว่าเป็น small organism ครับซึ่งเป็นแบบเป็น tiny organism ที่เล็กเล็กมากมากครับเป็นเซลล์เล็กๆครับที่มันที่มันแบบอ่าอาจจะล่องลอยมาจากอ่า space ครับแบบล่องลอยมาจากอวกาศแล้วมันก็มันก็แบบพัดเข้ามาตอนตอนที่โลกมันบอกว่าเพิ่งเพิ่งเกิดขึ้นนะครับพอพอพอพอพอโลกตอนโลกมันเพิ่งเครียดขึ้นแล้วก็พวกนี้มันก็หลุดลอยเข้ามาครับแล้วก็มันก็เป็นเป็นอ่าเป็นจุดเริ่มต้นของสิ่งมีชีวิตทุกทุกสิ่งทุกทุกอย่างครับอืมแต่ว่ามันมันเป็นแค่การแบบคาดการสมมติฐานเฉยๆแบบเป็นล้านปีคิดแล้วอืมก็ตัวอย่างที่สองก็อาจจะเป็นเกี่ยวกับเรื่อง area ห้าสิบเอ็ดก็คือไปเอ่อเช่นมีการสนับสนุนการทําการทดลองเกี่ยวกับเอเลี่ยนหรือกับ UFO อะไรพวกนี้ครับ I see ก็ตัดกันนะครับแป๊บหนึ่งโอเคอ่ะมาครับ historically if it date back เดตัวนี้ต้องเป็น ED ปะเพราะว่าเราพูดถึง historically ถูกไหมฮะเพราะฉะนั้นอ่าอ่าไม่เป็นไรก็คือตัวนี้น่าจะเป็น past simple เฉยพี่คิดว่านะ past simple เพราะฉะนั้นนะ concern เรื่องของ w a s w o r d ก็ได้นะครับหรือไม่ก็ verb main verb ที่เป็น verb ช่องสองมันเองนะครับ to antiquity remaining evident has been ถ้าอยู่พูดแบบ historically อย่างเงี้ยพยายามไม่ใช้จริงๆแล้วเนี่ยมันก็ depend แต่พี่นะว่าพี่คิดว่าตัวที่มัน hit มากกว่าเนี่ยจะต้องใช้เป็น past form เป็นหลักนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นตัวนี้ก็ต้องเป็น verb หรือว่าเป็นแบบ past form ไปเลยนะครับโอเค to be involved with the event of alien arrival in that time due to the exotic cultures and grandiose architecture Architectural design of ancient buildings. This befriders, befriders. Do you understand? This is a noun. Cool, right? Oh, it's a noun. This befriders scientists. Means that you never been verb, right? Yes, right. 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 ทำให้สับสนนะถ้าอย่างนั้นก็คืออยู่ต้องใช้เป็น past form ทำใช่ bewide ได้แปลว่าสับสนเดี๋ยวนะ no I think no อยู่ต้องเป็น this has brought หรือว่าใช้คำศัพท์ก็ได้แต่ว่าต้องเป็น tense พวกนี้นะครับ bewide เป็น ed ให้มันนะครับคิดว่าเพราะว่าอันนี้คือ Reflect ถึงคนใช่ป่ะ Uh huh. Who have endeavor? Who have endeavor? As a ten in occurrence, the place is that conserved as it is the most valuable heritage in England. อันนี้พี่ใช้ grammar เลยนะครับไม่มีนะไม่น่าเป็นหา grammar เราก็ได้อยู่แล้วแหละแต่ว่าแค่ดู semantic นะครับ semantic ในที่นี้คือ um meaning นะครับ meaningful sentence นะกับ proper นะครับหรือว่า appropriate t e n s e s that's it นะครับอืมอ่ะลองไปทวนได้ไม่มีปัญหาในภาพรวมก็ไม่น่ามีปัญหาละ according to super 
institutions, it is hypothesized that there must have been the existence of extra terrestrial technology related to encycling an area of boat. Any structure any high ตัวนี้เปลี่ยนเป็น remain ดีกว่านะครับเปิดใช้ให้มัน strong ขึ้น remain ไปเลย remain ได้ไหม remain remain no remain ดีกว่านะครับ approximately it is predicted as over five thousand years this contradicts the fact that ancient mankind potential definitely could could not read, could not definitely reach to me. To back when you've been here, you know, we can check out. So, do you know about what what order is there? And you long about proofreading it now, and I cap. But order is you have to like rerun, uh, reread again, and I cap reread again and again, and I cap. Die have sang get, na. We na mi benha. พี่ปล่อยโฟล์แล้วแหละกระมงกระมานะครับคือ detect แบบ error error นิดหน่อยแค่นั้นเองนะ based on the evolution of the world based on ด้วย based on ด้วยนะฮะ the survival of bacteria initially caused the breeding of diverse species of animal according to the assumption ถ้าเราสมมติว่าคำว่า according to เนี่ยมันจะต้องตามด้วย evidence โอเคนะฮะหมายความว่าพี่คิดว่ามันต้องตามด้วย evidence หมายความว่าเราค่อนข้างที่จะ strong นิดหนึ่งนะครับ word choice เอ่อไม่ใช่ word choice หมายความว่า meaning in context เนี่ย meaningful sentence หรือว่า meaningful in context เนี่ยจะต้องค่อนข้าง for sure นั่นเองนะครับอย่างเช่นสมมติเราบอกว่า according to นะครับ the scientific Scientific knowledge, na scientific knowledge. Ani kada ay na kap. Hmm. Let go. People. Sa mga na kap people na kap die. Blah blah blah. Kawa pa. So may he. Rho karani ti ba wa ra ra pusto according to na kap. Uh, empirical study kada ay man kan. Hay man ba hit hit nit neng na kap. Ah. Tama ay pi ting day check yeng ni. Pa wa ta sang get la na. ถ้าสังเกตแล้วเนี่ยไม่นะครับไม่เหมือนละ study อ่านะครับแล้วก็อาจจะบอกว่า there were อะไรเงี้ยก็ได้นะครับ bla 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 อันนี้ได้นะครับเพราะฉะนั้นการใช้ according sentence เนี่ย according to ตามด้วย now เนี่ยต้องเขียนประมาณนี้แต่ตัวนี้เนี่ยเราบอกว่า assumption ถูกไหมครับพี่ขอปรับนะครับเป็น Thirty, long long. If there is an assumption, the thing that we refer to is that as, right? As it was assumed from the previous study, it should be like this. Because the recording will hit a little bit. It was blah blah blah. It will go on. Can you see it? It was to my different is. Ah, could you use less than this? Good, right? Cap. Hmm. Is it clear? Is it? Run blur. Ah, this or get. But in general, it's okay. Nah, because it's like you can use okay. You. Nah, but just like if you look at it like this, concise, whatever you can. About this, good. Right? Nah, cap. Hmm. That's it. Although empirical evidence are not yet, nah, cap. Has not been found yet. It seems that um, U.S. President stopped. Subsidize the experiment, the portion, right? Uh huh. Uh, uh, this has been kept reserved before its reference was leaked out. Was leaked out, there you. The next one is unconfidential. Can I say that? Can I have confidential or un? Un, right? Or not? ใช่น่าหรอก
consequently this remain this remain the past ก็หมายความว่าพี่รู้สึกว่า tense เนี่ยมันไม่หล่อไปหมายความว่าถ้าเราพูดถึงอดีตอยู่ต้องจับทุกตัวให้เป็น past form ให้หมดนะครับเอ่อก็เข้าใจว่าแบบเออเรา hit hit ประโยค hit sentence โดยการใช้ present simple ก็จริงแต่ว่าเอ่อเดี๋ยวต้องมานั่งเช็คอีกทีหนึ่งว่า meaningful sentence เนี่ยมันจะไปด้วยกันหรือเปล่าเพราะมันจะตัดกันที่ coherent cohesion หน่อยหนึ่งนะครับผ่านครับคำทรงคำศัพท์ก็เริ่มมาละ conclusion pictures c u e strange and s i n a n y d a y state of the art ด้วยอ่ะของเมื่อวานเลยเนี่ย technology were not available to construct it Additionally, it is hypothesized that bacteria that arrive in the world then create human. ไม่แตะเท่าไหร่นะครับก็ค่อนข้างโอเคอันนี้คือดึง range structure ถูกไหมครับแล้วก็ใช้คำศัพท์ที่ค่อนข้างเป๊ะไม่น่ามีปัญหาเขียนจบหรือยังถามจริงถ้ามองถึง target achievement เหรออะไรนะครับหมายถึงว่าอันนี้เราเขียนจบแล้วใช่ไหมครับมีข้อมูลเพิ่มอีกไหมก็จริงเอ่อข้อมูลมันมันมีที่มันเจอแก้มันเยอะมากครับแต่ว่าบทมันเนิบมันจะแบบไม่ได้เออโอเคเข้าใจเกินสามร้อยครับ coherent กับ cohesion เพราะว่าจริงๆแล้วเนี่ยพอเราพี่อ่านแล้วเนี่ยพี่รู้สึกว่ามันต้องต่อไอเฉยเพราะว่าพอพอเราเราอ่านแล้วมันไม่มันน่าจะมีข้อมูลต่อพี่ก็เลยถามลักษณะนั้นนะครับคอยเรื่องคอยชั่นก็ฟลูนะครับแต่ว่าอาจจะต้องดูในเรื่องของ ten s e t นิดหนึ่งนะครับเพราะเราพูดถึงพูดถึง historically กับ something change นั่นเองนะครับแอ่นะทีนี้ถ้าเกิดว่าเป็น vocab พี่ไม่ค่อยห่วงเท่าไหร่ละนะครับเพราะว่า word choices เนี่ยสังเกตว่าเรดามีการ remind เพิ่มขึ้นแต่อาจจะมีการต้องเรียบเรียง word order หน่อยนึง word order มันจะง่ายกว่า word choice นะ word choice จะยากกว่าแต่ word order เนี่ยให้เรานึกถึงตัวที่มันแบบ tricky หน่อยก็จะเป็นในการเขียน uh, adjective นะครับ uh, adjective ไม่เท่าไหร่ adverb รายการเพราะมันวางในหลายตำแหน่งนะครับ uh, แล้วก็ range structure ก็ perfect นะใช้คำว่า perfect ได้เลยเพราะว่าไม่ได้มีปัญหานะครับ no problem uh-huh. ครับผมเคาะก็เจ็ดจุดห้ายืนพื้นยังไม่ให้แปดเพราะยังมีแบบ Something inquiry มีการ question อยู่นิดหนึ่งนะครับแต่ภาพรวมผ่านเนาะโอเค that's it <laughs> แต่พี่ไม่กล้าเขียนนะเรื่องแบบนี้มันดูไกลตัวโอเคประมาณนี้นะฮะเดี๋ยวพี่ตัดไปให้เราฟัง i อ l t s นิดหนึ่งนะครับเทสนี้เราเราเราเราฟังไปแล้วใช่ไหมสิบหกเทสหนึ่งเนี่ยเพราะถ้าเออถ้าเป็นคำเบ็ดอันนั้นอันนั้นไปแล้วครับไปหมดแล้วเพราะฉะนั้นก็ต้องเปลี่ยนนะฮะแบบนี้แบบหนึ่งนะครับนี่ทำไมมันไม่ได้วะถ้างั้นเอาเอลิสนิ่งก่อนนะลองดูลอตเทสวันก่อนก็เป็นพวกเซตนี้แล้วกันอ่ะก็ฟังเวลาหลายตัวหน่อยแล้วกันนะครับเพราะตัวแคมบริดมันก็ลิมิตอ่ะนะสิบหกชุดจบแต่ข้อสอบใกล้เคียงที่สุดก็คือจะเป็น Cambridge โอเคงั้นโซโล่นะครับประมาณแป๊บเดียวจับตัวเองทำข้อสอบไปนะครับให้คุ้นให้มากที่สุดอย่างน้อยวิกเลือกครั้งก็ยังดีนะครับ one two three go First, you have some time to look at questions one to four. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Global bicycle tours. May I help you? Yes, thank you. I'd like to sign up for a bicycle tour. Which tour were you interested in? We have the River Valley tour coming up in June and the Mountain tour in July. 
The River Valley tour is in June. I thought it was in May. It actually takes place the first week of June. Oh, I see. Well, I can still do that. The River Valley tour is the one I want. Splendid. Just let me take your information. May I have your name, please? Carla Schmidt. That's Carla with a K, not a C. K-A-R-L-A. Thank you, Ms. Schmidt. Address? Do you need a street address, or can I give you my post office box? A post office box is fine. It's P.O. Box 257, Manchester. Thank you. OK, next. Will you be bringing your own bicycle, or do you want to rent one from us? I'll bring my own. Excellent. Now, we provide all the meals, so we need to know if you have any dietary restrictions. I don't think so. What do you mean? I mean, if there's any food you can't eat. Some people have food allergies or are vegetarian or have to avoid dairy products, things like that. Oh, I see. Well, yes, I'm a vegetarian. I never eat meat. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. All right, I'll make a note of that. Now, the total cost of the tour is $750. That much? The price includes everything. Food, hotel, transportation, everything. Everything? Yes, everything. The only other thing is you'll want to tip the tour guide. We usually recommend 5% of the total tour cost. A 5% tip? I guess that's reasonable. In order to reserve your space on the tour, I'll need a 30% deposit. Do you need that right away? We generally ask for the deposit at least four weeks before the tour begins. The River Valley tour begins, let me see, six weeks from now. So you'll need to pay the deposit in two weeks. I think I can do that. I wonder if you could tell me something. How will our luggage be transported? Do we carry it on our bicycles? No, you leave that to us. We have a van that carries your luggage from hotel to hotel each day, so you don't have to worry about it. Great. I have a luggage rack for my bike, but I guess I won't have to bring that. No, you won't. But there are a few items we recommend that you bring. We can't control the weather, so you should bring a raincoat or rain gear. Yes, that's a good idea. And I should have my own spare tyre too, shouldn't I? Actually, you don't need that as our guide always carries some. And of course, you won't need maps either, since our guide has the route all planned. What about a water bottle? I'll need that, won't I? Yes, you should definitely have a water bottle. A camera would be a good idea too, since that tour goes through some very scenic areas. I have a guidebook of that area. I wonder if I should bring it along. We don't recommend guidebooks. It would just be extra weight, and the tour guide knows a great deal about the area. Yes, I see. Is there anything else I need to know? I think we've covered the important points. I'll send you a tour brochure, and you can call again if you have any questions. Thank you very much. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part two. Part two. You will hear an accommodation officer telling students about different halls of residence. You now have 30 seconds to read questions 11 to 15.
afternoon and welcome to Stanton University. I'm here to tell you about the various halls of residence we have available should you choose to come here. We aim to offer accommodation in halls to all first year students and you'll find there's a good variety to choose from. First of all, there's Brown Hall, which, as you'll see, is not the most modern of buildings, but it is very popular with some students. It's got a good sense of community, some nice refurbished kitchens, and unlike the other halls, it has recently had a gym built in its basement. Another option is Blake Residence, which is built like a large house, and so everybody cooks and eats together. It has its own sectioned off bit of private garden and is even more peaceful because this is an all girls residence. Although, of course, boys are allowed to visit the hall and uh, I understand frequently take part in cooking dinner. The largest hall we have is Queen's Building, and this has been upgraded recently. The original parking area has been built on so that the hall now has a large common room, and each bedroom now has its own shower room, which many students regard as a real bonus. A further option is the Parkway Flats, which won an award for design in its day. And this building now has a preservation order on it. This has meant that only a limited amount could be done to upgrade it, and the surrounding area is important, so parking is not permitted around the flats. However, the flats do have many extra facilities, such as a special computer room, a small library, and a self-service restaurant. The cost of breakfast, lunch, and dinner is covered in the fees for this hall, so it does look a bit more expensive. The last residence we can offer you is Temple Rise, which again is slightly more expensive than other halls as the rooms are larger. This has got very lovely views across to the coast, and this more than compensates for the fact that bathrooms here are shared between six students. However, the hall has domestic staff who clean the rooms once a week, so this is perhaps an attractive option for the messier amongst you. You now have 30 seconds to read questions 16 to 20. Now, if I can just show on this wall map here where they all are, uh, you might like to go and have a look around. If you come into the main university entrance, at the first junction, you'll find that Brown Hall is on the corner opposite the theatre. So you're nice and near the station here, though I think it can get a bit noisy with traffic. The same applies to Blake Residence, which is directly facing the junction to the university entrance. These halls are often used by medical students and such like, as they're out all day, so don't notice the noise. Anyway, if you then walk along Campus Road towards the main circle, you'll see the library on the corner, and Queen's Building is just past that as you head north. You will find that it is quieter here, and you may get fewer visitors. By the way, the circle is quite a feature of the campus, as it's set into the hills and has a brand new sports centre in the middle. It's worth going to look around it. Now, the Parkway Flats are on the opposite corner to the library, facing the circle, as you head towards the main buildings. 
The main buildings are only about a five-minute walk from here, and places in these halls go quickly. So my advice is to reserve your place as soon as possible. Then Temple Rise is inside the circle, next to the sports center, but further from the main university buildings. Now, if you'd like to go off and physically... That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part three. Part three. Maria is a student at university. She has handed the first draft of an essay to her tutor. The tutor has read it, and now they are discussing ways the essay can be improved. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Listen carefully to the first part of the conversation and answer questions 21 to 25. Well, Maria, I have to say I was quite impressed by your essay. <laughs> it's a big improvement on the last one. Really? I'm glad. I put a lot more work into this one. I really spent ages on it. Mm. And it shows. You've addressed most of the problems I pointed out last time. In particular, the style and language are much more appropriate for an academic essay. So that aspect is OK? Absolutely. If you carry on like this, you shouldn't have any significant problems in that department. That's a relief. I've been quite worried about that, although I've been reading a lot of other essays to try to get the right style. Well, I'd say you've been successful. There are just one or two minor things you could look at, uh, your punctuation's quite basic. It's really just full stops and commas and parentheses. Brackets? Y yes, brackets if you prefer. In academic writing, these are best used only occasionally, if at all. You use them rather too often. OK, I see. And uh, I'm sorry to mention it, but... Your spelling. I know, I know. But I'm working on a foreign computer. The spell checker doesn't work for English. Are you sure? Have you tried changing the setting to English? No, I haven't. Well, I should see if that's possible. I haven't marked you down this time, but, well, some of my colleagues are a bit old-fashioned about spelling. I'd try to get that sorted out if I were you. OK, I understand. I'll try to change the setting. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 26 to 30. The only major problem I have with the content of your essay is the introduction. Hmm. The introduction should, well, introduce the theme of the essay. Hmm. You've put some of the most important points there. <laughs> For example, this bit. Um, the statistics about the growth of railways in the 1850s. That really should go in the main body of the essay. Yeah. And so should this paragraph about changes in patterns of employment. 
In general, I'd say your introductory section should be no more than half as long as it is at the moment. Hmm, okay. And I should move those points forward? Precisely. And going back to the railways, they're one of the most significant factors for change in this period. Hmm. But apart from those statistics in the introduction, you only briefly mentioned them. Ah. I'd like to see a lot more on that. And the influence the expansion of the railways had on patterns of social and economic behaviour. You mean how with the railways people could travel to find work and could meet people from other areas? Exactly. Then in the midsection, well, it's not a big thing, but this quotation from the Times. You think it's too long? <sighs> Well, you said it. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of a way to shorten it. Do you think it's really necessary? You mean I could just get rid of it? Yes. You've already made the point and backed it up with other evidence. The quotation's redundant, really. OK. Well, that'll be easy. There were various other minor points, uh, which I've noted in the margins. Mm. You can look at those later. But moving forward to the end here... <sighs> I wasn't quite sure what this meant. The final paragraph? Yes. Are you saying that, on the whole, the changes of the mid-19th century tended to improve the lives of ordinary people or not? It's not very clear. Mm, it's not? No, it isn't. I'd add a few lines clarifying your position. OK. When do you want the final draft? No, oh, uh, the end of term will be fine. Um, but there was just one other thing, the bibliography. Did you really read all these books? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> just the books you actually consulted will be fine. You don't need to include everything ever published on the subject. <laughs> right, OK. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part four. Part four. You'll hear a lecture on human civilization. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now, listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Today in our History Series lectures, Professor Smith is going to introduce the history of human civilization. Welcome, Professor Smith. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know when human civilization originated? And what's the development of human language? Well, the first two stages in the development of civilized man were probably the invention of primitive weapons and the discovery of fire, though nobody knows exactly when he acquired the use of the latter. The origin of language is also obscure. No doubt it began very gradually. Animals have a few cries that serve as signals, but even the highest apes have not been found able to pronounce words, even with the most intensive professional instruction. Apparently, a necessity for the mastering of speech is the superior brain of man. When man became sufficiently intelligent, we must suppose that he gradually increased the number of cries for different purposes. It was a great day when he discovered that speech could be used for narrative. 
There are those who think that in this respect, picture language preceded oral language. A man could draw a picture on the wall of his cave to show in which direction he had gone or what prey he hoped to catch. Probably picture language and oral language developed side by side. I'm inclined to think that language has been the most important single factor in the development of man. Two important stages came not so long before the dawn of written history. The first was the domestication of animals. The second was agriculture. Agriculture was a step in human progress to which, subsequently, there was nothing comparable until our own machine age. Agriculture made possible an immense increase in the number of the human species in the regions where it could be successfully practiced. These were, at first, only those in which nature fertilized the soil after each harvest. Agriculture met with violent resistance from the pastoral nomads, but the agricultural way of life prevailed in the end because of the physical comforts it provided. Another fundamental technical advance was writing, which, like spoken language, developed out of pictures, but as soon as it had reached a certain stage, it was possible to keep records and transmit information to people who were not present when the invasion was given. These inventions and discoveries, fire, speech, weapons, domestic animals, agriculture, and writing, made the existence of civilized communities possible. From about 3000 BC until the Industrial Revolution, less than 200 years ago, there was no technical advance comparable to these. During this long period, man had enough time to become accustomed to his technique and to develop the beliefs and political organizations to appropriate it. There was, of course, an immense extension in the area of civilized life. At first, it had been confined to the Nile, the Euphrates, the Tigris, and the Indus. But at the end of the period in question, it covered much the greater part of the livable globe. I do not mean to suggest that there was no technical progress during this long time. There was progress. There were even two inventions of great importance, namely gunpowder and the mariner's compass. But neither of these can be compared in their revolutionary power to such things as speech and writing and agriculture. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
ป็นไงบ้างครับตรงตรงต้องแมปนะครับมีไม่ทันบ้างตรงแมปบางทีแบบดูภาพไม่หันไงยังไม่ได้ดูแมปอะไรเลยมันก็พูดไปเลยพูดเร็วใช่ไอ้เทสนี้มันจะแบบแนวแบบเร็วๆนิดหนึ่งนะแต่ว่าฟังหลังสามสิบถึงสี่สิบไม่มีปัญหาใช่ไหมครับอันนี้อันนี้ว่าคนใหญ่จะถ้าถ้าไม่ไม่ดูเป็นเพียงว่าเป็นเพราะทํามันง่ายอันนี้ผมไม่รู้นะแต่ผมรู้สึกว่าไอ้ตรงสามสี่ผมว่ามันมันมันเอ่อจับคําค่อนข้างได้ง่ายอ่ะอืมเพราะฉะนั้นก็เหลือแค่แบบอ่ะเนาะสิบแปดถึงยี่สิบนี่แหละที่จะเป็นแบบ difficult หน่อยหนึ่งอืมก็จะเป็นง่ายง่ายกลางก็จะยากแล้วกันอ่ะไม่เป็นไรเดี๋ยวค่อยไปนั่งเทรนอีกรอบหนึ่งแล้วกันนะครับอ่ะไปไปเลยนะฮะ speaking speaking version ไหนวันนี้ขอเปลี่ยนไฟล์หน่อยนะเผื่อว่าได้ไหมอืมนะฮะเผื่อว่าไม่เครียดเท่าไหร่นะเอาลองเล่นกับเอ่อ set นี้นะครับหนึ่งสองสามสี่ห้านะครับ alright so I just want to make sure that you can speak for long uh for you know long story right explain outdoor living to a person with an apartment in the city แปลว่าอะไรอ่ะ outdoor living อ๋อหมายถึงว่าบาร์เขาเรียกว่าไงนะเอาจอ living แปลว่าอะไรอ่ะ to a person with an apartment in the city เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวผมน้ำนึงนะครับเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวนี่ยูต้องกินข้าวเป็นเวลาปะต้องกินกินเป็นเวลาต้องกินกี่โมงบ้างอ่ะขอล็อกหน่อยได้ไหมขอล็อกสูตรล็อกต้องกินทุกทุกสามสี่ชั่วโมงครับเพราะว่าเพื่อแบบกระจายกระจายโปรตีนในมือเพื่อให้มันเกิดอ่าภาวะสังเคราะห์โปรตีนเดือดตลอดเวลามันทําให้เป็นคอมเพรสกับอ่าภาวะแบบซูเปอร์คอมเพรสชันหรือว่าเป็นภาวะมาสเตอร์เบอร์ดิ้งมันมันมันเกิดขึ้นตลอดเวลาอืมอ๋อแต่เราไปนั่งครับต้องครับสามถึงสี่ชั่วโมงถ้าสามถึงสี่ชั่วโมงสมมติว่ากินเก้าโมงเที่ยงก็ต้องกินถูกไหมฮะบ่ายสามก็คือแบบว่าสามทุ่มอย่างเงี้ยหรอมันจะล็อกกินประมาณบ่ายสามหกโมงแล้วก็สามทุ่มอ่ะเพราะว่าสมมติพี่สอนอันนี้นอกเรื่องเลยนะพี่สอนเก้าโมงพี่กินก่อนก่อนขึ้นสอนอยู่แล้วพี่ต้องกินนิดนึงติ๊กถูกก่อนเก้าโมงก่อนเที่ยงถูกไหมฮะก่อนบ่ายสามช่วงเบรกปล่อยเด็กไปเบรกบ่ายสามสิบห้านาทีตอนสอนเราถูกไหมหกโมงก่อนนอนสามทุ่มพอได้ไหมหกมื้อแล้วก็นอนปกติต้องนอนเที่ยงคืนนอนก่อนนั้นนั้นไม่ได้เพราะงานเยอะแล้วก็จะต้องสายหน่อยจะต้องระวังหกมือป่ะอาจจะต้องระวังเรื่องเออการกระจายมือที่ที่เยอะที่เยอะไปอ่ะเพราะว่าสมมติถ้าแบบบางคนกินมื้อเช้ามื้อสายมื้อเที่ยงมื้อบ่ายมื้อบ่ายนั้นหน่อยแล้วก็มื้อเช้านี่ครับมันมันเอ่อมันเยอะไป too much ไปนี่แหละบางทีเอ่อชาวนี้เราจะครบแต่ว่ามันต้องเข้าใจว่าอ่าแต่ถ้าเรื่อยๆคือทุกครั้งที่เรากินอาหารครับมันจะทําอินโซลินแบบมันหลักตลอดเวลาครับทุกครั้งที่เรากินอาหารสมมุติถ้าเรากินมากๆมื้อจนเกินไปมันทําให้หลังอยู่ทุกๆอยู่แบบทั้งวันนะครับจนจนมันไปอ่าจนไอฮอร์โมนที่เหลือครับเพนฮอร์โมนกูฮักกอมเนี่ยมันที่จะเผาผ่านใครมาระหว่างที่เราฟาสครับมันมันจะไม่ทํามันก็คือไม่ทํางานนะครับถ้าอินซูลินมันหลังออกมาตรงถ้าเราทําไปนานๆเข้ามันมีโอกาสที่จะเข้าสู่ภาวะที่ร่างกายมันจะดื้อต่ออินซูลินนะครับพอดื้อต่ออินซูลินบางเคสนี่คือก็ก็คื
ถ้าพูดง่ายๆคืออาการที่อาหารมันจะเข้าสู่เซลล์กล้ามเนื้อมันจะน้อยลงแล้วมันจะไปสู่อะดิโพซิชัวฮะหรือเป็นเป็นเป็นเซลล์ไขมันมากกว่าแต่แต่มีบางเคสบางปริที่ทํานี้เป็นนานๆหรือว่ากินแป้งหนักๆก,กินหลายมื้อแบบจัดด้านจริงๆครับแบบกินเยอะมากมือ้อมากๆครับก็บางบางบางเคสก็คือเป็นโรคประวัติประเภทที่สองครับหรือว่า type two diabetes นะครับก็ถ้าแนะนําเลยคืออาจจะกินแค่สามมือ้อครับสามมื้อพอก็เว้นอาจจะประมาณห้าชั่วโมงครับเช่นกินเจ็ดโมงแล้วก็กินอีกทีเที่ยงแล้วก็กินอีกห้าโมงเย็นก็ได้ครับสามมื้อถือว่าผมคิดว่าเป็นเอฟเฟกติฟที่สุดครับแต่ผมผมกินเริ่มกินมื้อแรกตอนบ่ายสามเพราะว่าผมตื่นมาผมก็ไปออกกำลังกายเลยครับออกกำลังกายตอนเช้าอ่ะอ๋อ,เ,อ,อเราไม่ได้เรียนอ่ะเราเราเรียนนะเราเรียนออนไลน์ปะปิดเทอมแล้วครับอ๋อตอนนี้ปิดเทอมไอซีจริงเหรอที่เท่าไหร่อ่ะมีนาโอเคปิดเทอมแล้วเหรอพี่ไม่ได้เช็คเวลาเลยเพราะว่ามอสอะไรนะมอสอวยังไม่ปิดเทอมนี่ปิดเทอมโน่นเลยอ่ะพฤษภามิถุนาเดือนหนึ่งนะครับมิถุนากรกฎาคมถือว่าเป็นปิดเทอมเออแต่ของเรามันเป็นเซตเทอปกตินี่ว่าใช่ป่ะโอเค don't worry alright นะ moving to this kind of questions here alright explain outdoor ก็งงเหมือนกันว่า outdoor living to a person with an apartment in the city แปลว่าอะไรผมก็เอ่าดอร์เลฟิงเหรอขอทานแล้วครับว่าไม่ในบ้านอยู่อ่ะอยู่ข้างนอกอ๋อันนี้ผมเดาเดาเล่นๆนะครับเดาเล่นๆครับเดาเลฟิงว่าจะมีแบบไหนทำไมไอไม่ลืมแบบไหนเฮ้ยยากอยู่นะไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่น่าดึงขนาดนั้นแต่ outdoor living space อ๋อแต่ว่าเป็น apartment ซึ่งไม่ค่อยมี outdoor living meaning ก็คือว่าเขาจะเช็คว่า outdoor living ของ apartment in the city เนี่ยเป็นยังไงบ้างโอเคไปเสียพอยต์คือคือยังไงครับหมายถึงให้พูดถึงแบบสมมุติว่าเราอยากจะมีเอ่อเอ่อพื้นที่ใช่ไหมตรงบอลคาเอ่อไม่ใช่บอลคานีสิตรงอะไรนะตรงระเบียงสังกิดว่าอะไรนะระเบียงบอลคานีปะใช่ครับอืมหยับอือฮะผมก็เคยอยู่อาพาร์ตเมนต์นะครับให้เอ็กซ์เพลนอะไรครับผมก็งงยันมันเป็นแบบบล็อกเนาะอินดัสทรีทีอันนี้อันนี้คือให้อธิบายเกี่ยวกับตรงระเบียงนะครับว่าวิวเนี่ยใช่ใช่ใช่วิวเป็นไงบ้างสมมติถ้าอยู่ต้องอยู่ในอพาร์ตเมนต์หรือว่าต้องแบบอยู่ในคอนโดอะไรเงี้ยอยู่จะยังไงบ้างอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืม Um, had the experiences of living in the apartment, um, especially uh, that I've never um, stayed at a, at a balcony in any apartment because I've never lived in an apartment or condo in the city. But um, this is my own opinion, and I think it, it can be possible that sometimes when Some people they um, come from the countryside, then they um, try to register, like sorry, and they try to enroll the course of study in um, a college or in, a, in the university in the city, and then it is very necessary for them to um, find an apartment to live because they don't have houses in in the city and that's too expensive. And they just lived um, in a city temporarily, really, um, just for studying in in, um, in the university. So uh, I think um, that the first problem that they will face is when they live in in an apartment at a balcony 
when they try to let us see lots many um many students who study in in the university or many people who live in apartments um no matter what can we uh, what role they are right now no matter there are students or there are workers in, in the office but um, the first problem that they will face is uh, the problem of mm, uh, laundering, yeah, laundering, because when they put their clothes in in the laundry and it, it is wet, and then the, when they try to dry it, um, normally uh, people who have houses normally uh, most people, when they try to dry um, their clothes, their shorts, like that, are wet. They, they they just put that um um in in um they just put it in the area that the clothes that that their clothes can can be exposed to the sun, just to dry it. But when it comes to um, living in apartments at a balcony, sometimes the sun cannot reach um, the area of the balcony, or sometimes the um, their the clothes cannot be expo exposed to the sun enough. So it's um, really hard and it's really difficult to dry in a short period of time. It just take um, it takes it takes long time. Takes a long time. Like uh, for in some cases, it just takes it takes one day, and then when it, when um there is, is an errand or when there's when there is an urgent case, like when there is something that they need to do immediately, like for example, if they need to wake up in the morning and then they just need to go to somewhere, um, especially go to to the university to um to join the classes um, on time, then if, you know, that the uniform um, is not dry yet, so that's, uh, that's, that, that's the biggest problem that they might um, have to face. But um, other problems, I cannot think of other problems because, uh, um, I don't know what to, what to explain anymore about um, living at the balcony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, it's true that the living, outdoor living is kind of like a private zone that um, those people living in a city, especially for small apartments or even um, in a condominium, just because it's the limited space in that time, right? At, at that place. And I think that those people who have who required to live in that mm -hmm. apartment, mm -hmm. they're gonna have like um like let's say like a tree or some plant a bit just because they want to refresh or get some uh, fresh air in the morning or things like that. So it is important to see um, how well they can um you know create such an outdoor living space at that time. But to me, I think that is quite um. I can say that it is limited, right? Just because I think that for space, it's just like a living for sleeping and that's it. So sometimes like, it's hard to do so just because for some, uh, for some families, they're gonna live in an apartment with um, many people. So they don't even have any outdoor living. I mean, the space that they can do for an apartment here. So, um, it is just like uh, for some people who wish to have like outdoor living for a limited small, uh, a small space, right? And I would say that to those people living in the city, they, they don't even pay attention with this kind of things because they just want to have like a space for living inside instead of doing this kind of thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Next, explain how to people of different interests and background. Any cool I am happening there. Well, but, uh, when he, 
เหมือนพอสโนไลตี้ไม่เหมือนกันนะครับบอกว่ามีประวัติมีโปรไฟล์ที่ต่างกันมีความชอบที่ไม่เหมือนกันแล้วก็ทําไงให้มันมาเป็นเพื่อนกันนะทำให้เป็นแบบเป็นเป็นมิตรภาพกันนะครับนี่เป็นเพื่อนกันได้เหรอได้ไหมก็นี่จะไม่ได้ได้ปะไม่รู้เหมือนกันอะไรอะไรออไลน์ออไลน์ในที่นี้แปลว่าในทหารเหรอของออไลน์สันนี้ก็คือพันธมิตรนะครับใช่ไหมอันไลกลีในที่นี้คือไม่เป็นเพื่อนกันเหรออ่าเริ่มปวดหัวกับโจทย์ละยากจังอ่ะมาครับเอาเหมือนอธิบายนี่นะครับว่าคนที่มีความคิดความชอบอะไรต่างกันคนนี้ก็ทําไมถึงเขามีโอกาสที่จะไม่ไม่เข้ากันนะครับอย่างนี้เหรอครับครับใช่ใช่ใชอืม when comes to talk about This topic and when we <clears throat> and when we have a discussion like this, it's really confusing to to uh, to explain like deeply oh, and for the details about this because this is associated with um, psychology as well. If we want to talk deeper and deeper about this topic, but Uh, basically, mm. every people have differently. So, but once the psychologist ever said that um, the the first reason that uh, humans or people are intimate to each other. But when they, when we say some closest friends, when some people have just one or two closest friends, and others are just normal friends, others are not um, intimate enough, others are not the friends that are not trusted enough. So, yeah, by means of that, um, there is some ex some scientific explanations. Uh, behind to explain about this, I think um, it might be related to reliability as well when it comes to having interest. Because um, if okay, uh, firstly I'll explain why people who who that have different perspectives, who have different backgrounds, or different interests, different passions. Why there are more and more possibilities that they cannot be friends, they cannot be in a good relationship. I would give I would give you um, some examples of couple goals. I see um, lots of couples, lots of relationships that uh, that have been broken by just one reason. Most of people um, broke up. With each other because they have different life goals. They have different actions. They have different commitments in their life. Um, this sounds weird, and this sounds like this. Yeah, this sounds very weird to say like this. Like, is that the reason? Is this the, and the reason that make? Um, A relationship of some people broken. Yeah, that's 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 partially um, the reason. Um, I don't know much about this, but uh, in my opinion, I think um, in the real world, people like like um, if two people have a strong commitment in something, so that means like they need to choose 
the, the priority for their life between a relationship and their passion. Um, if you say like, can you combine two of these things together into the top priority of their life? Yes, it's, yeah, you, you can do that and that can be done possibly, but um, not, that doesn't happen to all the people because some people, they, they, they have different decisions and they have different um, choices in their life. They, sometimes they cannot choose. Sometimes they, they're all forced. Sometimes some obligations force them to, to choose one thing for their life, which is the most important thing that they, they should um, keep. Like for example, um, for couples, um, it might be from uh, future life goals. Like for example, uh, there are some mm, most of there are some couples, boys and girls, like um, their parents always cheer them up and their parents always encourage them to have a, a, a better future life because like in some it, because some people they are not ready yet to have a relationship with someone but they have already had a relationship with someone but um what i mean is they are not ready yet because um, their financial status is not, it's unstable. Or it might be from their education. They might, grad, they might not graduate from the university yet. So these things, uh, these things will, um, will ensure the prosperity of their life. This will guarantee, like th this is the factor that will guarantee them. But when they lack of these things in their life, when they lack of money, when they lack of, of opportunities, when they lack of jobs to do, or when they are unemployed, or just anything in life that they feel like they, they are lacking of, this um, is the great barrier. This is the great obstacles in their relationship. So yeah, this is the obligation that I said earlier that forces them to choose between the relationship or their future life goals. So, um, um, you might have a question, how this is involved with the, the topic that we're talking about right now is about different interests and backgrounds. It is directly related to this um, because um, if one of, if, if one thinks, if one uh, thinks that they, they, they have, that they have to choose the life goals and others think that they need to choose a relationship, this um, contradicts to, each, uh, to the fact that the relationship would be able to, to, to keep going on that if uh, two people have the same um, interest, like for example, if the boy has an interest in, mm, in drama, yeah, he, he might like acting, he might, he might study about being a celebrity, he, he might want to be a celebrity in, in uh, in the future, and, and then the girl might have the same interest as the boy has. You know, the, the girl might might want to be a celebrity as well. So these, so this is the same interest that make them to um, help each other to um, achieve the goals they have, and you know they. So that's. That's not going to be a difficult task for them in, in their life when, when they try to achieve um, this kind of thing. Or like we can see some couples they they invest in they they invest in business each other. They 
um, they do they um, do the same jobs. They are um, the business investors together. They are shareholders together, like couples are can be shareholders. Couples can be um, collaborating together to um, to run the business. Yeah, that yeah, that's it. That's um, the abstract thing. That's uh, that, that's kind of logical thing that like, you need to um, pick up some. You need to bring up some real experiences to use in, to use to talk about this topic. So that's really challenging to talk about this topic because um, I have never had any relationships like this before. I see. All right. Different interests and different background. And they're unlikely to be friends. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, yes, I do agree. Just because I think <laughs> I think that um, um, let's say like uh, Okay, I can, I can raise some example from like choosing what you're really interested to study in university. For example, like if you are really interested in the, you know, how to become a doctor or yeah, how to become a doctor, even becoming a, a doctor in the future. So you have to study for medicine, is that right? And I can say here, sorry, um, lots of students I mean, lots of um, students who really aim to study in the, you know, uh, medical fields, they're gonna have like a diff. I can say that it's not that different background. I can say that it is the same background or even the same interest that they can be united. I mean, um, you know, comes together, is that right? And this is the reason why that I do believe that a different, different interest or even different background here might be causing some people who cannot even um, you know aligned with what they are going to do together or as a company just because i do believe that even for some organization when you are going to start doing something or even um you know you know start working right meaning that you're gonna have like the same people in the same background or even the same interest the same expertise the same um, expectation to do so, so they can understand well. Uh -huh. To me, I th um, however, I can say that um, it is possible for some people who have a different uh, interest or different background can be friends. But here, I think for a common thing to me, uh, as my personal experience, I can say like, just only those people who really will understand what I'm saying, what I'm, I'm you know, trying to or expecting to, to do something, right? So this is the reason that I would say that just only the same interest and the same background can be friends or even close friends to each other. Anyway, for some context, for example, like if we are going to talk, if we are going to talk about um, people living in the same company, it doesn't mean that they're gonna have like the same interest or even the same background, but they have to work together. To me, I can see that it's just for cooperation or even mutual cooperation here. So it doesn't reflect any intrinsic or even inner feeling that you can become close friend or be friend indeed. That's it. Moving to next, next, next. Describe a family celebration that has special meaning for you. Click like up. I else you know that we're about carefully and so even the words are so. Hmm.
อันนี้อยู่ไม่ได้เปิดนิ้วเสียงแน่เลยเสียงหายอ๋ออันนี้อันนี้อันนี้ผมยังอยู่ครับอันนี้ผมกำลังคิดอยู่ใช่ไหม you be family celebration ไหมปกตินี่เอ่อคุณแม่อยู่อยู่บ้านป่ะครับอันนี้ถามได้ไหม personal issue เออมีอยู่บ้างไม่มีอยู่บ้างครับหมายหมายความว่ายังไงอ่ะปกติเขาไม่ได้ทำงานในกรุงเทพหรอครับอันนี้พี่เพิ่งรู้เนี่ยเนี่ยไม่ไม่ได้ทำงานหรอครับก็คือหมายถึงว่าทำงานต่างจังหวัดใช่ไหมฮะหรือว่าแบบไปไปมาๆแม่ทำงานปะหมายถึงว่าแม่เป็น housewife อย่างเดียวหรือว่ายังไงเออเป็น housewife อย่างเดียวอ๋อโอเคแสดงว่าคุณพ่อทำงานอย่างเดียวใช่ไหมเอออย่างเงี้ยเพราะเพราะว่าเท่าเท่าที่พี่ดูเราเอ่อคุณแม่ก็เป็นคนเทคแคร์เราหนักเลยเนาะช่วงเด็กๆอ่ะจําได้ปะแบบเทคแคร์มากเลยแต่ว่าคืออาจชื่นชนคุณแม่นิดหนึ่งตรงที่ว่าแบบเขาเป็นคนเซฟอินดิพีเดนต์สูงอยู่รู้สึกปะเขาเป็นคนที่ทําทุกอย่างได้ด้วยตัวเขาเองอ่ะไอไอไอเซนด้านะตอนนั้นนะก็เลยคิดว่าไรด้าก็น่าจะเป็นคนกันแบบมีมีเขาเรียกว่า personality กับ characteristic คล้ายๆกันใช่ปะอืม Lock Q เดี๋ยวผมขอลงไปข้างล่างนึงครับเดี๋ยวผมเข้าไปมาแล้วครับมาเลยอ่ะลองเล่าต่อดูนะครับ family celebration ไม่เคยมีครับจริงเหรอ birthday party ก็ไม่มีอ่ะเวอร์ไปปะไม่มีเลยเหรอไม่จริงซื้อเค้กกินอย่างเดียวครับแค่นั้นวันเกิดก็ไม่ special หรอครับในในมุมเราอ่ะอันนี้อันนี้ก็ถามเฉยวันเกิดก็น่าจะ special กับทุกทุกบ้านอยู่แล้วปะหรือว่าไม่วันเกิดก็ซื้อเค้กมากินมันก็จบครับท่านก็แค่เป่าเป่าเค้กแล้วกินก็คือไม่ได้ซื้อแต่ปาร์ตี้ไม่มีเลยเหรอเคยมีปาร์ตี้ไหมปาร์ตี้แบบไม่ต้องปาร์ตี้เบอร์ใหญ่ก็ได้ปาร์ตี้อาร์อีอะไรไม่พูดถึงปาร์ตี้อะไรดีปาร์ตี้แบบรักๆอะไรอย่างเงี้ยมีปะเออไม่อ่เกิดมาสิบเจ็ดปียังไม่เคยปาร์ตี้กันเกิดไม่จริงเหรอแล้วแล้วคุณพ่อคุณแม่ก็ไม่ได้ทำไม่มีสเปเชียลเซเลบราชีแค่ตอนตอนอยู่ทำไม่เห็นครับแต่ว่าอ่าลองเล่าตัวนั้นก็ได้อันนี้คือกับโฮสต์แหละครับหรือว่าไงใช่โอเคตอนตอนอยู่กับโฮสต์เขาก็ไม่ได้ปาร์ตี้นะครับเขาก็เตอเค้กมาให้เขาก็ให้เป่าแล้วเขาก็อ่าขับรถคือเขาเขาซื้อเค้กมาให้ตอนสามทุ่มครับเขาซื้อมาให้แล้วก็ซื้อมาให้กินแค่นั้นแล้วเขาก็ใส่เลยอืมแล้วก็ออกไปข้างนอกครับไปไปทําอะไรก็ไม่รู้ครับแล้วก็กลับมาวันต่อไปทันเช้าอือฮึเออซีพอยท์เธออือฮึนะเงินก็ต้องเล่าเรื่องชาวบ้านแล้วล่ะอืมก็เลยไม่รู้ว่าจะพูดอะไรเพราะว่าไม่เคยมีปาร์ตี้คือจริงๆแล้วนี่แสดงว่าสปีกิ้งสำหรับไอเอลส์เนี่ยมันก็จะโดนตรงนี้ว่าถ้าเราไม่ไม่เคยเล่าเรื่องตัวเองอ่ะก็ต้องเล่าเรื่องคนอื่นแทนนะมันจะทริกกี้ตรงนี้นิดนึงใช่เออแล้วอันนี้โอดเรื่องมาหัวๆแล้วครับได้ลองลองดูอ่ะลองดูนะครับเออลองแต่งเอาหัวดูครับแต่งสดๆเนี่ยอืมคำเสด็จ talk about the family celebration that has special meaning for me. Um, actually, I, I hardly ever have a, a family celebration, especially um, the the most valuable day of family celebration that I prefer the most is uh, my birthday party. But actually, as I said earlier, I hardly ever Have a celebration at my home with my family members. I am. I mostly spend time with my family every day, with um nothing 
um, special or nothing strange, nothing like amazing, like other family, other houses, other or like other people. But um, it happens um, the the special family celebration started around two or three years ago. Like um, it was when that was the day um, of my birthday, and then I had a, a party with my family members and you know my my parents. Um, my my parents uh, took their day off from their work. And they just you know they spend that time to organize the activities, to organize the parties for me for my birthday, and then. Um, at that day, I invited my close friends, my friends from um, from schools, or in it, or like it can be, you know, that that can be friends from other schools as well. Like, um, and there, no age restricted. It, that could be uh, any people from any age. It could be like um, my senior friends that could be my junior friends or like something like that so everyone could could come to my house to to join this party so we had a, a blast we um turns on a loud music like any music that we liked but um the the mo that that, that but there was um, some moments that passed um, that passed us uh, for some time like to to continue um, the, the part like to continue having a, having fun with um, everyone in, in that party because um, you know some something just stops us from having party that was um, that was when I turned the music too loud, and um, as I lived in a village, um, our neighbors, I, I don't know um, who that is, like, I, sorry, I, I don't know who that was, but our neighbors, like, I think um, probably all the neighbors around my houses who lived nearby, um, you know, they, they just, they were um, annoyed, and you know that that was too annoying because then the party started at night. That was a nighttime party, like it started around nine, ten o'clock at night. So they they tried to sleep. You know, they um, even though they don't have um, the illnesses of insomnia, but they could not sleep in a way because um, the the, the sounds of the music that it turns on just disturbs um, their sleep, their quality sleep. So um, they were unsatisfied. And that dissatisfies um, those people a lot. So they, they were unhappy and grumpy a lot. So they came to um, the front of our how of my house is and then um they um they rang the bell you know they, they rang the um the house bell and you know and when they um got out from my room like you know like that I mean the room that we had a party and then at the moment I got out from the room to go to the front of the house to see if anyone um had a problem or if anyone just visited my house, then I asked them what um and I asked them what's it what's your problem? And then yeah, they just um said they just told me everything that they just wanted to say. They just told me that oh that was too loud. So please t- um turn off the music. So um after after that, after I heard he say like that. I came back, I returned back to my room and then I told everyone that oh, we should start the party right now. And, you know, everyone disagrees with, disagreed, you know, because 
um, the party just started um, around an hour, two hours. It, it was long enough. That was a short period of time. We had a party. There was a short period of time. We had a class. So um, we we so we made like we we made an, an impromptu plan with each other. That's how to continue having a fun in this party. How how to how to continue having a party without um, having problems with our neighbors. So we decided. Um, after we had a plan, like after we had a ne the next plan of having a party, so we decided to change a place. We decided to change a place from having a party in, in my house to other places that are more silent. So um, that was, this might be so weird to say like this, but we changed. We, we moved from, my, um, uh, from the house to the forest because that that was silent enough and you know that place is secluded yeah it, it's a very very and very secluded because there there were no houses there were no people living there so um even even there were no living things or there were no um wildlife inhabitants um nearby so we could have a party until um until it reached um the morning in in the next day so yeah that was the most special day i had in my life but that just happens once in my life and yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good. Now it's to hear from you. Family celebration, right? Celebration. I, I can say that um, um, this is um, a part of a speaking test for part two, I can say, and this is the really important, this is really important to say that a family celebration, we can talk about any kinds of aspect that, um, you know, straightforward to the way that we have, um, you know, a special celebration together. So actually, when we got um, a time, right? A quality time or even happiness here, we must say something that is related to family members here. So a family celebration here would be a key that we can discuss for part two or cue card here. Um, I think um, a family celebration is just kind of like um, the things that we are going to have, but it is, it is different for some families just because we can see like, um, you know, the categorization or even a group of family for some family, for some family, right? Uh, some family structure, they're gonna have like a different family structure. For example, like uh, some family just, just, just only a nuclear family or extended family. So maybe a number of family members are quite different here. To me, I can say that I really love to see the interaction of family members, including father, mother, um, sister, brother, or even everyone in the same family, just because I think that they're gonna have like different different perspective. For example, like the range of age might be different. So family celebration is kind of an opportunity to see a different perspective from a different level of age, level of education, or even level of personality lifestyles, right? So uh, let's say like um, the example of a family celebration would go for, um, I can say it's about a birthday party. Yep, um, just because I think this one would be a special occasion that everyone can go to in one place, especially at home. And I think this kind of like um, celebration of birthday, just because we have be what we have right now. So meaning that if you're living in the real world, uh -huh, you still exist. So birthday party would be a key to celebrate with the kind of thing. And I can say that a family celebration um, might be different from time to time, just because when we talked about bonding or even relationship between friends or family is quite different. We can have, um, you know, joy, 
happy moment with you know like a friends close friend or a group of friends but for family it's kind of like uh, this is very different just because i can say that for some family they're gonna talk everything in detail but for some family just because they have their own respect or even um you know things that they cannot even talk personally with any kind of, this kind of thing so a family celebration might depend from a uh, family structure here that's it and Lina to hit you man tell tell about tell about duo class at least is it okay and you put that like why you chop gym yeah. Yeah. แบบมามาแล้วครับอันนี้เป็นเวิลด์คลาสแอทลีตใช่มั้ยครับว่านักกีฬาระดับโลกนี่นะใช่ครับฮัลโหลฮัลโหลครับฮัลโหลครับเป
the reason is because like two or three years ago he had an injury like he had a, a back injury because um previously when he was a bodybuilder he was a pre uh, he was a pre he was a former bodybuilder um around 10 or 20 years ago he uh did a squat if you know this um exercise you will know that um this stimulates a muscle fatigue so much and you know if everyone hates um, doing squats and um, or even even bodybuilders hate it but Ronnie Coleman is one of the guys that um challenge himself all the time you know he, he's the he is one of the, the the best bodybuilders that preferred um doing squats to grow his legs so if you search in google and if you type his name you you will see um the size of his legs you know the, the size of his legs is um is so big and that, that's that that's so amazing and you know like his physique is like a monster he he's actually bigger than the hulk you know, he, he's like that's really strange like or some some people might some people say that he is an alien like he was born in a wrong planet he he, sh he should be born in in other planets because he's not like a human um but interestingly there um once he was interviewed and then he um he answered like um the interviewer asked him that uh, asked him whether he used uh steroids um and then he answered immediately that he he has never used steroids or any um medicines that would make him to get bigger and bigger but um this is th this is the thing that um appeals people to listen and to to know him because he is i, I don't know if this is the truth or not i don't know if he he plays the jokes or not but if this is a truth that means he has a good genetics his genetic should be um really really um you know he should be very very strong you know because like if he has never used steroids and he ha has got this kind of physique so that means like or oh, his so that means he his genetic it's a genetic from fr from a monster yeah like and um to explain why I include this person because um he he is well known due to lifting heavy weights all the time you know he, he trains or um when he was a bodybuilder and when he did not had uh sorry when, when he did not have a, a back injury when he um he trains around six days a week and he trains over two or three hours he, he trained i think he trains around eight hours a day so that that was that that was that was what um normal people in a gym do not do because um normally when we do an exercise continuously for one hour or we feel like oh we feel so exhausted and then we feel like we want to go home you know we, we don't want to stay in the gym anymore but I don't know what happens to him. Like he trains around eight hours. So if if you ask me, I believe that he used that he answered. Like if you ask me, I believe in his answers or not. I I think I I don't believe in his answers that he has never used um any steroids before, because um. In in the real life, if if the ones or anyone who who trains around eight hours a day, and if they, you know, if you train like this six days a week without using steroids, or we, if you say like if you're natty, if you're natural, if you naturally grow your muscle without using any steroids or using any cheating medicines, I think um, it's impossible to grow your muscles because. Scientifically, it is proven that if you train too long in in a day, if you if your training sessions are too long, if um it takes around like 
if it takes even if, if it takes over two hours that means um the, the hormone called cortisol will be released near your body is it that harms your body a lot and your um instead of getting in anabolic states your body will will um become um a catabolic will become a catabolic yeah it will get in a in a catabolic state so that's dangerous for your body um catabolic states uh technically it is the, the state that your body will lose muscles continuously it will constantly lose muscles um this there, there is a there's there there is a process there are some ex, there are some explanations behind about science to to um, to explain about this so like um as i said earlier i i don't i strongly do not recommend anyone to to train like over two hours if you don't use steroids but if you use steroids you can train over two hours without getting your body in 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 um to the brain you know getting without getting your body into the catabolic state so in the state of losing muscles uh firstly we explain about the, the natural people who train like who, why i would i will explain first why a normal people like us or natural people cannot train over two hours because um it's you know if you train too long and if you train hard too long you you need to keep your training sessions short because if you train too long um in the catabolic state there mm-hmm. is a process of called um gluconeogenesis it's the, it's the process of your body um trying to generate the um the energy by itself by using carbohydrates but um but actually when when you when you train hard for an hour if you so just 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 consider yourself that you you train like too long and then you train so hard without uh, like with having a short period of time of rest like if you have a rest around one or two minutes and then you, you keep doing that exercise you train so hard your muscle fatigue or there is a lactic acid in 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 your pumping in your muscle a lot so um that means like every time every time you train every time you lift you lose simultaneously you you lose um the energy in the form of, of glucose or carbohydrates or we we call, technically we call it uh it's a it's the energy called glycogen in your in your muscle glycogen is it's the energy from carbohydrates so if you train until the glycogen in your body um like we call it a glycogen depletion when it's completely depletes until there is no glycogen in your muscle anymore and then you 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 still train and train and train you still don't stop um um it will be related to to the process of gluconeogenesis which is the process that your your muscle still wants carbohydrates but there is no carbohydrate anymore so that means it will uh, the muscle like your body will decide to automatically choose to use the energy from your muscle by um depleting the proteins in your in your muscles and then your muscle mass will be lower and lower and lower because there you know there there's no like um it is necessary you know because it because it um you know um if you it might be confusing but I want you I want you to think like this like this is I would compare um this kind of process to to some cases in in the real life like for example if you don't have money but you you need to use money but you have zero you have mm. zero money you, you don't have money mm-hmm. then you need to use it like for some people they decide to um to be a thief for one day they they trying to 
to um, rob, they try to threaten other people to to earn their money for their urgent time. You know, it's it's the urgent time. So like it seems like our body, like when there is no energy in the form of glucose, there is no energy in your muscle anymore. So it will choose your body will choose to use your muscles instead for the energy to keep you going to keep you going on yeah so that that's it that's that's a natural thing and so that's called on um, the catabolic state which is the state which is um the situation you you you're continuously losing muscle mass and you, and what happens next? What happens next is that if you lose muscle mass, you will get weaker and weaker, and, and you you will feel like in the next days, uh, you you will not feel like energy. You would not feel completely energetic or active. You would not feel enthusiastic to go to the gym. Like you would not feel like you you are in a mood to. To lift heavy weights, and then you you will feel like uh, the weights that you know that you usually lift will be uh, lower and lower, and then you know like your your strength will be lower and lower. So that's that that's really harmful, and that's not a challenging thing. You know that's that's a harmful thing that you should avoid. But um, for the world class athletes, I can guarantee you. You know, I can guarantee that um, there were every world class bodybuilders. They, they, they trying to put themselves in the risk, even though they they realize that this is risky. This is why this is risky because using steroids can be harmful to you, to your uh, physical health. It can, it's it's um it's not about you know, it, it's not only about using zeros and you it's not only about using it and growing your muscle and that's it. No, it's not about like that. It's it's all like there is something more and more and more that you should know that you should learn. Um for some recommendations, uh the doctors always have a warning to these people who use zeros for uh building their muscles because um because originally, um, steroids did because steroids um did not originate from um like I mean the steroids usage did not originate from bodybuilding, but it's originated from um the treatments of a doctor for some illnesses, but uh ones. The, uh, this is the history of using zeros in in the bodybuilding competition. But once um one of the build, bodybuilder I, I I cannot remember his name like he he used the steroid like you know he, he just tried to do some experiment tried to do some experiments and that's work for for him that makes um his muscle grow faster and faster for ten million times so that's um. I can say that um, it is it is inevitable that you would not use steroids if you want to go to 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 join the competition of bodybuilding. If you want to be the best bodybuilder in the world, if you want to be the world class athlete in this kind of sport, a hundred percent, I can guarantee that you need to use steroids because um, if you don't use steroids, you might ask that. Uh, uh, is there any possibilities that you will win the other guys that use zeros? Uh, I can say that yeah, there there are some there there are some possibilities that you can win, but you know there there is only zero point zero 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 one percent you know that you will win them, um, except you have a good genetic because like you know there there is only one case if you want to be. Uh, like if you want your physique to be like a monster, if you wanted to be, if you want to be the best bodybuilder in the world, if you avoid using steroids, if you love your health, if you like, if you take care of your health all the time, and if you refuse to use it, so 
you need to consider your genet genetic. Your genetic should be like a monster. So there is only one case, and this is what we cannot control. This is uncontrollable because genetic or DNA is what we cannot change. Even even um, the the experts in in biology, even the, um, the the base scientists in the world, they cannot find any solutions to, to change your DNA, to change your genetics, you, you get what you deserve, you know. So um, the last thing that I want to say is that um, the, the, the most important thing, and this is the priority that everyone should take into consider consideration when they mm -hmm. want to grow muscles, no matter they want to be a bodybuilder or they just want to grow muscle and have a, having a better physique. Like mm -hmm. to be more attractive, to attract more girls, to love them, with, like do something like that. And the most important thing is not about using cereals or any supplements. Yeah, su supplementation is it's also important. Um, supplementation and, and using cereals, using these things are are like are the I, I think are the assistance for building muscles. But that's not the main thing. The primary thing is consistency and training hard, training like hell, you know, like and you know, and discipline, you know. Um, and also there 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 is a few difference between people who use the steroids and not using the steroids. Like the people who use steroids, they should not only have the discipline of training, eating and having a quality of sleep but they should have a discipline of checking of have um like how to call it of having a health check every year or in some cases what i recommend is that you should have a health check in every month like you're checking your um the flow of your blood checking your organs your organs as especially a liver a kidney a what yeah, your heart, yeah, you know, because um, these steroids, these chemical substances um, mostly attack um, humans' heart. You know, these people, um, the, the people who um, encounter deaths in their life who are dead because of using steroids before that, before they, they, they died, um, they mostly suffered the illnesses of heart attack. Like mm -hmm. it's it's actually a sudden heart attack. So mm -hmm. you cannot go to the hospital. Some other people cannot go to the hospital on time. And, you know, and most of them just die unexpectedly. Like or in an, in another case, this is uh very panicking and this is this is very scary, and I. I, I I was very surprised when I heard this kind of thing, you know, like it, it's from my, it's, it's actually not from my close friends, but um, it's actually, th this is the truth that is from the one I knew, you know, like he, he's a, he is a, he, he's actually an expert in, in uh, condition, in um, physical conditioning and how to, enhance the performance and strength in fitness you know he, he is an expert in this kind of thing and i knew him and then you know his his friend um his friend already died because of using zeros his friend he, he told me that his friend was addicted to use the too much of zeros because he wanted to grow his muscles even though he, he wasn't a bodybuilder or any, you know but he he used it for for like long time. He used it for ten or twenty years. He kept using it without having enough knowledge. He mm -hmm. did not see, he 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 did not uh, find any research to to read. He did not have any one who gave him enough advices, or anyone who gave him a good recommendation to to use zeros. You know, like or or, we, or technically. Um, we, we can say that he he overdosed. Yeah, you know he, he overdosed, so um, he had a heart attack. No, uh, so, uh, sorry, um, 
that that was false. Um, that was wrong. Um, he did not have a heart attack when he died, but um, he 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 told um he told me that his friend one day his friend just just slept as usual at night. You know, his friend just slept as usual, and then in the next day, um, he did not wake up. You know, he 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 died while. He was sleeping, so that that was really scary, and uh, and um, he it, but he did not give me the the uh the forensic documents, like I mean the yeah, the the forensic documents he it, he he did not give me officially, but the the forensic experts that checked that who the, the forensic experts that dissected um this guy's body like the, the dead body this corpse um the the doctor said that um I I, I cannot remember what what he said but the doctor, but I can remember Ali. He said the the, the doctor Ali said that um a hundred percent the cause of his death is from um overdosing steroids. Yeah, mm. that's it, right? P, กำลังคิดอยู่ว่าคงอยู่พุทธานมาเลยนะครึ่งชั่วโมงเอาไม่เป็นไรครับแฮปปี้มากฟังพี่แบบหลุดโฟกัสเป็นหลังๆเอางี้ถ้าเกิดว่าโฮมเวิร์กเอาอะครับอันนี้ถามนอกเรื่องหนึ่งนะมันต้องต้องเล่นเช้าเย็นปะต้องเล่นให้ถี่ที่สุดปะครับเล่นเล่นเวลาเดียวก็ก็ได้แล้วครับหมายหมายถึงว่าวิดพื้นแล้วเซว่าเป็นแบบพุชอัพพวกนี้นะเออก็สำคัญเราเราต้องเล่นให้เฟลครับเทรนจะเป็นถึงว่าเล่นเล่นให้ถึงเล่นให้โดนอย่างนี้แหละครับใช่ปะแล้วคือมันจะมีสองอย่างละหลาเขาเรียกว่า my muscle connection นะครับกับเทรนจะเป็นเดียวก็คือ my my muscle connection ก็คือการโฟกัสให้โดนให้ให้รู้สึกฟีลแบบโดนกล้ามเนื้อสมมุติว่าเราวิ่งพื้นเพื่ออยากออกกำลังกายเราต้องรู้สึกว่าออกมันขึ้นแล้วก็สกุยสมานะครับแล้วเราต้องรู้สึกว่ามันมันมาโซฟันจริงจริงหรือว่าอ่า resistance ครับหรือว่า tension มันมันลงที่ออกอ๋อแสดงว่ามันมันแสดงว่าอยู่กําลังจะบอกว่า home workout ก็ขึ้นได้เหมือนกันก็แผงอกขยายได้เหมือนกันถูกไหมครับขึ้นขึ้นได้ครับขึ้นได้ครับแต่ว่าแต่ว่าไม่ไม่ไม่ชัดโอเคเข้าใจได้แต่พี่เห็นว่ามันก็ขึ้นอยู่เนาะมันก็เป็น stability ที่ที่โอเคถูกไหมขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นได้ดีกว่าเขาพอกันในยิมเลยครับเอาจริงเหรอจริงจริงเป็นเนี่ยถ้าเกิดว่าโดนก็คือมันก็จะขยายมันก็จะแบบอ่าแพคทอลาริสก็คือดีขึ้นถูกไหมครับเพราะว่าอ่าอ่าเรื่องหลักๆสิ่งสําคัญของการสร้างกล้ามเนื้อมันมันไม่ได้อยู่ที่หลักๆมันไม่ได้ว่าเครื่องยิมแล้วเนี่ยหลักๆก็คือมันอยู่ที่ว่ามันอยู่มันจะมีอยู่สองมันจะมีอยู่แค่สิ่งเดียวครับมันเอ้ยมันจะมีอยู่สองสิ่งครับการสร้างกล้ามเนื้ออืออืออืออแรกคือแรงต้านต้องลงต้องลงไปในกล้ามเนื้อที่เราต้องการให้มันใหญ่ครับแบบเต็มๆข้อที่สองคือกล้ามเนื้อที่เราต้องการให้มันใหญ่เราจะต้องเล่นให้มันหมดจนสิ้นจนมันแบบมาโซฟาทีกับจนหมดแรงจริงๆครับจนไม่ขึ้นเลยครับยกก็ไม่ขึ้นมาส่วนส่วนแต่แต่ส่วนข้อที่สามนี่ครับคือก็ถ้าแนะนําก็นั่งควรไปยิมเพราะว่าสมมติว่าถ้าเราเล่นแรกๆเราเราเราเล่นครั้งแรกเลยครับคือสมมุติเราอาจจะเล่นที่บ้านไม่มีอุปกรณ์วิดพื้นแล้วพวกนี้สิอะไรพวกนี้สคอร์พวกนี้มันจะยากคือแน่นอนครับมาโซฟาทีกมันจะมาเร็วมากแรกๆจะพัฒนาดีครับเพราะว่าพอเราเล่นเวลานเราแข็งแรงขึ้นครับแล้วถ้าเรายังวิดพื้นเหมือนเดิมน้ําหนักเดิมๆสคอร์ดเดิมๆพวกนี้ครับแต่มันไม่ได้มันต้องแบบ progressive ใช่ไหมไอคอหรือว่าแบบว่ามันต้องมีการเอ่อก็คือ develop อะน้ำหนักหรือว่าแบบ resistance ให้มันให้มันแบบ multiple multiple ไปเรื่อยๆถูกไหมครับเป็นแบบ upgrading ไป okay. โอเคทีนี้ยูบอกว่าเอ้ยเดี๋ยวนะเพราะยูบอกว่าอยู่ตื่นปุ๊บอยู่ไปยิมแสดงว่าอยู่นอนเช้าเหรออยู่ยังไงเออไม่ไม่ได้นอนเช้าผมผม
ก็นอนกลางคืนเหมือนคนปกตินะครับก็นอนสี่ห้าทุ่มเอาเป็นถือว่า quality เขาเอ่อ let's say ว่า sleeping quality ยัง hold อยู่ใช่ไหมเพราะระหว่างนอนกลางวันกับกับนอนกลางคืนเนี่ยเอ่อเขาเรียกว่า quality มันจะต่างกันถูกไหมครับมันจะได้เพราะว่าถ้าถ้านอนแบบห้าทุ่มตีที่กลางคืนตีหนึ่งตีสองเนี่ยมันมันได้กรอฮอร์โมนได้ครับอ่าเพราะฉะนั้นอยู่ก็เราต้องนอนเป็นเวลาถูกปะ่ะนอนกลางคืนใช่ฮะอ่าฮะแต่ว่า in reality ก็คงนอนสี่ทุ่มไม่ได้อ่ะพยายามนอนสี่ทุ่มละแต่ว่ามันมันก็พอทําได้ครับแต่ว่า hectic and busy life ไม่ไม่น่าทําได้นะครับแต่ก็ต้องพยายามนะแต่ว่าคนที่แบบฟรีฟรีน่าน่าจะทําได้สรุปก็คือว่านอนให้ครบชั่วโมงถูกไหมครัเพราะตัว quality มันโหยากนิดหนึ่งใช่ปะ่ะสมมติจะให้นอนสามทุ่มทุกวันคงเป็นไปไม่ได้นะจะไรให้สอนหนังสือก็ถ้าท่านนานถ้าถ้าดึกสุดก็ให้ให้ประมาณถ้าทุ่มเที่ยงคืนหรือมาครับไม่ควรเกินเที่ยงคืนนะครับอ่าโอเคถ้างั้นไอยังอยู่ในเรโชปกติเพราะไอนอนก่อนเที่ยงคืนอยู่ละเพียงแต่ว่าจะให้นอนก่อนสี่ทุ่มน่าจะยากอยู่ถูกไหมไลฟ์สไตล์มันต้องแบบเอ่อหักดิบนิดหนึ่งโอเค thank you so much for your sharing ครับอ่ะงั้นก็โอเคครับขอคิวหน้าต่อแล้วกันนะโอเคสวัสดีครับบ๊ายบายครับอืมสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ